Hello there, and welcome to the Video Game News Report. It's the 25th, yeah, it's the 25th of June. You know, soon July 4th will come up, and then we'll go watch things explode. But, in the meantime, video games. Let's, let's stick to video games, because life is all about video games and explosions. Today I'm not going to talk so much about new news, just things I've been thinking about. Now, I saw an article on the 3DS XL. So they're going to be making another one. I mean, I don't, I don't like that. I want Nintendo to put all their effort into one thing instead of making so many others. Like the DS had the DS, the DS Lite, the DS XL. I think there was another one. I'm not sure. But it's like four DSs and nothing has changed about it. I mean, like, I, I think this is the DS... No, they have the DS... Yeah. Anyway, this one you know, has the Game Boy Advance slot. It's why I have one, because I play Game Boy Advance this year. Uh, that's why I play it, because <clears throat> I play Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6 on it. But they just they keep making new ones, but they don't work on new games. I mean, they got rid of Mega Man Legends, which I know that's not technically Nintendo's fault. It's Capcom's for getting rid of it, but whatever. Um, some of the games I would like to see come out, uh, they made Ocarina of Time, and I, as far as I know, it did really well, and I want to see Majora's Mask come out for it. I mean, it's like the same, just, uh, there's not much extra work that needs to be done, since like the character thing is already done, because you have Kid Link, and then just, just make it. Nintendo, make it. I want to see it. Uh, they're making a Luigi's Mansion game. Um, I never played the first one. People have told me it's great. People have told me it's crap. I've watched reviews saying both. I don't know. Just want to throw that out there because it's a Luigi game. Uh, Shouldn't make any Tensai is... There might be <clears throat> two of them. One might already be out for the 3DS. I'm not sure. Uh, it might only be in Japan. The article I was reading wasn't very conclusive, but there also might be another one, Shin Megami Tensai Persona, as opposed to Shin Megami Tensai Devil Summoner Overclock. Uh, Tales of the Abyss is out. I own the game, and I think it's fantastic. Uh, if you like the Tales series, you're right at home. It's another Tales game, so go buy it. You know, right now. Right now. Just pause the video. Go type on your YouTubes and go for it. <clears throat> also, I, I heard about Chocobo Racing which is like a sequel to the Chocobo racing game. Uh, yeah, it's Chocobos in a racing game. It's enough said. <laughs> Go buy it. Uh, Contra. And I don't know if this is going to be like a Contra re-release, a Contra new graphics, a new Contra game, but something about Contra that I've heard about. <clears throat> Monster Hunter 4. I didn't really play the Monster Hunter games, but I, I have no problem with them. I think they're good. I just didn't put enough time into playing them. Monster Hunter 4. Why not? <laughs> and they have Pokemon Black and White 2. I never really heard about them having a 2, but... Well... Why not? Just, just continue. Go for it. Uh, and I would like to bring up the fact that uh, Kingdom Hearts 3D comes out on July 31st. I've played the demo, which is available right now on eShop, I think. But it's for the 3DS. Uh, I played it, and I was pleased. Uh, it felt like a, a good Kingdom Hearts game. It felt kind of like uh, Birth by Sleep for the uh, PSP. Excellent game, good graphics, everything. Uh, and it is the first direct sequel since 2 that follows the main storyline. I mean, yes, it isn't. It isn't 3. It's not 3 yet. Uh, hopefully we'll get three within the next couple years. I don't know, because I think in 2005 we got two. So, it's been a long time. But I played the demo and it felt really good. There wasn't much with motion. I mean, with the, the stylus thing. That, that was my biggest problem, because I don't want to use the stylus pad. Uh, you turn the camera regularly with uh, L and R. You target by clicking both of them. Uh, to, to do A always swings the keyblade, B jumps, glides, rolls, speed dashes. I don't think that was actually in there. Um, and you can interact with some objects, and that's when you use the touchpad. 
uh, which you, like if you're near a barrel, which is what, what there was in the demo. If you're near a barrel and you like flip up, uh, you'll go into it'll kind of pause the game and then uh, there'll be a little ball and you can like slingshot it and you know but it pauses the game and it felt a little off but you don't have to do that probably or if you do it's not often so it felt really good and it felt satisfying playing it. I felt like I was playing a real Kingdom Hearts game so I'm really excited to play that uh, I'm definitely gonna do a, a review on it uh, once I've actually gotten it and played it and beaten it Maybe not beaten it, just played most of it. Um, very excited. Uh, and, you know, people... I'm doing this only about handheld games because people... They don't give enough credit to handheld games. And why? I mean, we have laptops. And we play games on laptops so we can move around and play them. That's why a lot of people don't buy a PC because they don't want to be stationed. Well, I know console games. Like, I have a PS3 over there. Console games are great, but if you're in a car or on a plane, this you can do. You can't bring your PC on a plane, and you know, for a lot of games, you can't play them fully without sitting down stationary. So don't just ignore handheld games, keep looking at them. And that's about it for this news report. I don't know, just so much information of new games. I wrote up this in depth list. But yeah, don't forget, and, and you know, buy special edition boxes that cost the same as a regular game, so why not? Now I'll leave you with my palm.